I don't recommend that you get into business for yourself if you don't like early mornings. Even if you're gonna have a nighttime business, maybe a, a bar or something like that, you're gonna be up early in the morning when you're closing up. So if you don't like the early morning, may not wanna go into business. This morning, I'm gonna head over to the Fayette County Chamber of Commerce. I have recently joined that chamber about a month ago and volunteered to help them with their golf tournament. Uh, since I was a golf pro in a previous life, and since I uh, used to run the neighboring chamber's uh, golf tournament, I ought to be able to help them out quite a bit, and I think that maybe I'll make some good contacts. It's important when you go and volunteer to understand that you're going with nothing on your mind except for serving the people that you're there to serve. But you wanna make sure that you put yourself in the best possible position to take advantage if in fact the opportunity arises. So you wanna make sure you wear a name badge, or like we do, we have our shirts with our names on them. And in case you're gonna give me a t-shirt to wear, uh, a volunteer t-shirt or something like that, I've brought along my name badge as well so I can wear it on the outside. So let's see if we can have some fun today. I've always told people that volunteering for a golf tournament's a lot of fun. That, of course, is when I needed volunteers. It'll be interesting to see if I was telling the truth or not, because I haven't ever done it from this angle. I either worked at a golf course or I was working a Chamber of Commerce event, and so it'll be fun to find out if, in fact, I can have some fun and meet some new people and serve some folks and give them some fun, too. Just one of the benefits of getting up early and starting early, rather than the noise from the car next door. Man, what a beautiful sunrise today. I've been giving ice chest duty. So let's get these out there and get them filled up. Looks like fun. Volunteer day is all day long, and I had a great time. <laughs> it was really a lot of fun. I, I'm really surprised because I kind of expected that maybe all those years me telling people that it was gonna be fun to volunteer was just kind of a line, but everybody that I talked to had a great time. All the volunteers had a great time. The staff had a great time. It was just a really good day out there. Met a lot of people that I didn't know, made friends with the staff, which is one of the things that I will tell you is most important when you are getting involved in a chamber of commerce. You wanna make sure the staff knows you and knows you in a good light. And uh, that wasn't what I was trying to do, but it ended up being that way, and so I was glad about that. The uh, name badge came in handy. As I predicted, they did have a T-shirt for me, and I was able to still promote my company by having a name badge and putting it on top of the t-shirt. Nobody seemed to mind. They also had a lanyard for all the staff that was volunteering and it had my company name on it as well. So that was good. And then on top of that, saw a lot of clients that I didn't expect to see and reconnected with some people that I hadn't seen in quite a while. So all in all, a very good day. Uh, enjoyed myself very much. I also bought a couple of things. I, apparently I'm going to the British Open. If not, I guess I'll sell those on eBay. But all in all, a very good day and I'm really pleased with my investment of my time today. This is a great way to build your business, being involved in the local Chamber of Commerce and other business associations. Really important to get out there and get people to know, like, and trust you. It's a great way to build your business.